My lovely pups, welcome back. Today we'll be quickly reviewing the 2021 Moonfire event in Final Fantasy XIV and how to, to obtain the Polar Bear Mount. This event is running from August 14th to August 26th. Let's get into it. Follow us, the Pax Hunt, on the Pax Hunt at twitch.tv, Pax Hunt on Twitter, and the Pax Hunt on Instagram. To start, you pick up the quest in Limsa Lamensa. I'm starting us off at the main Aetherite, but you can use that to teleport to the Aft Castle if you already have the different teleportation crystals unlocked in Limsa. But we're going to go from the main Aetherite and walk our way up to where the event quest is. So to start, we're going to head east from the eighth right to the elevator, which will take us upstairs. Once upstairs, we'll take a sharp left to head down the corridor to the aft castle, which is where the eighth right would have brought you if you had taken the teleportation route. You'll see the festival straight ahead. You need to talk to Mayaru Moyaru if I said that right, for the quest. It's a level 30 quest called Unseasonal Chills. So in order to do this seasonal event, you will have to be level 30. This quest will ask you to go, go to Costa del Sol, which if you have the teleportations for it, you can use the teleportation. Um, if you don't, we're gonna go through the physical means to get to Costa del Sol. So in order to get there, we're going to go out the southern exit, which is south of where you pick up the quest. Once through the gate, we're actually going to head northeast to eastern Lanos. Oh my god, sorry. Eastern Lanosia. I might have said that wrong. I butcher it every time. Now you can follow the path there, which is what I do. There's actually multiple paths. But if you follow any of the paths northeast, you'll get to the destination um, where you need to go. Once through that, you're going to head northeast to the small town. There is an aetherite there, which I recommend you grabbing if you don't have it. So that way next time you can just teleport there. Now the actual event is on an island a little northeast of Costa del Sol. So what we're going to do is we're going to swim over there. If you are a high enough level and you can fly, you can just fly over there. Once on the island, you're going to need to talk to Hermaga, which will give you, um, it won't complete this quest, it'll just complete talking to him and give you another um, sub-quest to do to complete this main quest. Now like in all of my videos, which I forgot to mention earlier, I skip through the cutscenes, I don't want to ruin any of that stuff for you guys, so I skip through the cutscene and go directly to the... Um, the end of it just to show you where to go and what to do so after talking to him he'll have you go talk to Poiboyano I just butchered that anyways cat girl I'm a little over to the right <laughs> that's where we're going when you talk to her she also has has a cutscene uh, which will lead you into another sub quest part for part of this seasonal quest once through that cutscene, you'll need to go aid Niki Niki, which will send you into another cutscene. Once done with that cutscene, you'll go back to talk to Harmaga again. This will actually unlock a fate. After you finish that cutscene talking to him, you'll unlock a fate called a Blizzard of Bombards, which will appear on the same exact island, a little bit of southeast of where he stands. 
Now we'll go through the fate. I'm going to be using a clip from a different recording since when I picked up the fate quest, I picked it up right near the end of a fate battle and I was able to complete the fate but not fully through. So we're, just, we're going to discuss the mechanics of this fate. When you join the fate, um, you'll just start uh, attacking the um, bomb, but about halfway through, he's going to um, summon some crystal creatures that you need to destroy before attacking him again. Also avoid the AOEs, which is his primary attack method anyways. So as long as you keep on the move and destroy the aid creatures that he summons, you'll be perfectly fine. Also, when you complete the fate, you'll get a set of items. It can be used in the shop that is over in the main hut on the island. Once you complete the fate, you'll go back and talk to Niki Niki. I forgot to mention that the fate shows up every 10 minutes, so you won't have to wait too long for it to appear if it's not already happening once you do the first quest. Once you talk to Niki Niki and turn in this quest, it'll end the quest Unseasonal Chills, but you will not get the mount. To get the mount, you must talk to Niki Niki for the next level 30 quest, which is a treat to beat the heat. Once done picking up that quest, it'll have you talk to Harmaga again. It will then have you talk to Kitty Cat Girl, Yano. I'm just going to call her Yano. Once done talking to Yano, you're going to have to head south to Costa del Sol to talk to Gigi Ruju. I always butcher his name. Once you talk to him, you'll head back to the island and talk to Niki Niki. At the, which point you will complete the seasonal event completely, get the polar bear horn, and also get an achievement at the same time. Like I said at the beginning, this is just a quick video on this year's Moonfire Fair. I hope this was helpful in helping you get the polar bear mount and everything that you need to do for that. Until next time, stay happy, healthy, and healsome, my lovely pups.